Hi folks, I'm Schrodinger's cat. Today I'm going to be doing something a little bit different rather than making fun of flat earthers, which is a lot of fun. And there's going to be a lot more of that. Uh, just thought I'd do something slightly different. Uh, so this past Thursday was March 14th and that was Pi Day. And I got to thinking about it and I've calculated Pi tons of times in high school and in, in college, but I, I never really measured it. So I thought it'd be worthwhile to measure it and show people sort of how it works. So to do that, I've got a, uh, a pizza stone that's gonna be my circle. And then I've just got a you know little uh, tape measure here. So let's talk about what pi is real fast. So pi is the ratio of the circumference of a circle to the diameter. So if you are a flat earther, you probably don't know what any of this stuff means. So if you have a circle, the circumference is the length of this outer edge here. And your diameter is from exactly one side of the circle to the next. So we'll take some measurements and we'll pop them into a calculator and see how close we can get to the accepted value of pi. So let's do that, see what happens. All right, so first let's do the circumference of our pizza stone here. And we'll just wrap that around. That looks like about, uh, I'll say 46.8 inches. So let's mark that down. 46.8 inches and then it's it's a little tricky to figure out exactly where the diameter is so the way that I'm going to do that is I know I've got 46.8 inches in circumference so the diameter is from one side to the exact um, halfway point to the other side. So the way I'm going to do that is I'll make a little tick mark here where I start and then I'll just find uh, that would be uh, 23.4 inches to the other side. So let's see if we can find that over here. There's 23 and a half, so I'll make it just slightly before that. Make another little tick mark here. Okay, so now I'm ready to measure my diameter. I'll go from one side, one tick, my first tick mark to my second one, trying to get as close to the edge as I can. that looks like about uh, oh, uh, 14.9 inches. So the diameter equals 14.9 inches. Okay, now that we have our data, let's see how we did. So for circumference, we came up with 46.8 inches. In diameter, we came up with 14.9 inches. Now our units are both in inches, so they're the same, so we don't have to do any conversions. We can just pop this directly into a calculator and see what we get. So let's do that. So we'll do 46.8 divide that by 14.9 equals 
Okay, so that's what I came up with based on these numbers and our simple equation here. Well, I guess you can't see that, it's a little too far down. Okay, and we know that the accepted value of pi is 3.14159. Two, six, five. So I was accurate all the way out to the third decimal place and then was only off by one. So even with a pizza stone that didn't have a very uh, large circumference and just a rudimentary uh, tape measure, I think we did pretty good here. So um, I will get back to making fun of flat earthers. Uh, I've got something already in the works with uh, Brainy Beaver that should be out here in a couple of days. And uh, there's more to come. But if you like this kind of content, let me know and I can start doing more nerd stuff as well. Thank you. Have a good day.